so that was Kikuchi Hiroki here in Kumagaya. And this shop is actually just on the other side of the block with Golden Tiger. If you haven't seen that video, I made a, a video about that one, about their tsukemen, about their uh, tamago kakemen. I would say those are probably the two best ramen shops here in Kumagaya in Saitama, a little bit out to the north of Tokyo. And Kikuchi Hiroki is more like a local favorite. I got this as a personal recommendation from somebody who lives in the area. And this ramen shop is, yeah, for people who really like bold flavors. Uh, the soup is incredibly salty and flavorful, super bold. It almost like makes your lips pucker up after you take the first slurp. It's really good. It, it has like this, um, the strength of flavor um, that you would normally expect from a tsukimen. Really, really strong. You almost want to have uh, some kind of dashi to uh, make it a little bit lighter, which actually you can. There is some dashi on the counter that if you want to, you can you can add. They also have their variety of tares on the counter. So if you actually want it to be more flavorful, more salty, you can actually do that. You can modify it to your liking. And here, of course, <clears throat> quite obvious from the first look, they are also quite proud of adding a lot of pork back fat seabura on top of the bowl. And you can choose that on the uh, on the count on the, sorry on the machine uh, where you have different options between asari and koteri. Personally, uh, I think koteri is the way to go, uh, especially with this super bowl soup. The seabura makes it all a little bit more creamy and subdues the really strong flavors and the saltiness of the soup. So it works out really well in the end. Uh, the chashu is basically falling apart; it's hard to pick up, and uh, the noodles. They're like this uh, super classic thin style that just fits really well with this kind of soup. And yeah, if you're in Kumagaya, please give this shop a try. Uh, basically, you just have to go um, in the same area to get both of the best shops here uh, in Kumagaya. So yeah, maybe make it out here and uh, yeah, enjoy some really incredible ramen. And uh, yeah, that's all from me for today. Thanks for watching and yeah, give the other Kumagaya ramen shop video uh, a look if you're already here and leave a like, a subscribe and a comment down below if you have any questions about ramen in Japan. Happy to answer them. Also give the Ramen in Japan podcast a listen if you uh, want to listen to a little bit of ramen talk. And uh, that's all from me for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.